Hello friends. Nature is so multifaceted that seemingly familiar things can often get turned upside down. And in today's episode, you'll get to see what happens if the prey and the predator switch roles. We are used to the fact that frogs eat insects and snakes eat frogs, but exceptions to this rule do happen in nature sometimes. For example, insects can sometimes defeat those who are supposed to eat them. Meet the ground beetles from the genus Epomis, which, according to the Israeli scientists, bring real horror to amphibians. The most interesting thing is that not only adult beetles, but also their larvae are quite successful in hunting toads. Large adult ground beetles ambush the amphibians, paralyzing them by biting their back. The bite falls either on the ridge or in the muscle, without the use of which the toad cannot jump allowing the predatory beetle to eat its prey. Its larva, however, uses a different strategy. As researchers from the University of Tel Aviv write in the PLOS One online journal, the larva also seems to be sitting in ambush, but at the same time actively luring in the prey. The amphibians are known to react to movement, so in order to attract them, the larva wiggles its antennae from side to side and also opens and closes its massive jaws. When the toad, attracted by the movement, approaches the larva and tries to attack it with its tongue, the larva jumps and uses its jaws to attach itself to the throat or to the lower jaw of the amphibian. Although the toad is larger than the larva, it has no choice but to accept its fate. The researchers observed several cases when the toad turned out to be faster and swallowed the larva, but sometime later it had to spit the restless insect back out and once outside, the larva didn't mess up the second time. If the attacking larva is in the early stages of development, the amphibian has a chance to escape alive. In this case, the insect behaves like an ectoparasite, feeding on the victim's body fluids, and can release the victim during the next molt, leaving an impressive scar on it. If the larva is in the middle of development or is already preparing to turn into an adult insect, it simply chews on the prey's tissues, leaving behind nothing but the bones. So, here's an example for you when both an adult insect and its larva feed on amphibians. According to the researchers, this is the most complete and the most surprising case of the role reversal between the predator and the prey in the wild. The short-toed snake eagle is a bird of prey of the Ascitripidae family, a very rare endangered bird species. It is one of the predators that fear and distrust humans the most. This eagle feeds mainly on snakes and other reptiles. Millions of years of evolution have endowed this bird with perfect tools and skills for hunting snakes. But if the snake manages to get ahead of the eagle's attack, even for a split second, then the roles of the fight are reversed, because this powerful bird is powerless against the poisonous bite. And here's another role swap. A dog attacked the lions at a national park in Tanzania. The predators were calmly walking around their territory when a small dog ran up to them and began to bark and then even attacked the lions. This incident was filmed by the tourist. The wild animal is so taken aback by the fierce attack of the enemy significantly inferior in its size that it just backs away. At some point, the dog loses interest in the lion and goes away, leaving the formidable predators alone. At this time, the laughter of the eyewitnesses is heard on the recording. They definitely did not expect this turn of events. Even in the animal kingdom, mothers are always ready to protect their offspring from any kind of danger, even if they have to fight off birds of prey to do so. The feathered predator tried to steal the chicken, but faced some fierce resistance from the mother hen who had to fight off its baby from the formidable rival. The moment of the fight between the two birds was captured by a wildlife lover who happened to be near when the confrontation happened. Apparently, the eagle did not expect the hen to put up a fight. Judging by the footage, the birds changed roles and having made several attacks on the aggressive chicken, the eagle ultimately realized that it couldn't win and was forced to retreat without prey. Internet users saw the hen that entered the potentially deadly confrontation as a very brave bird and a good mother. 
Hornets are the largest members of the Vespidae family. They live in very large families, headed by a single queen, and build large nests from cellulose. The diet of the adult hornets consists of vegetable sugar. In the wild, its sources are tree sap, rotting fruit, and honeydew, a sweet liquid secreted by aphids, worms, and other insects that feed on plant sap. But the hornet larvae feed on meat only. Thus, during the larvae's maturation period, hornets begin to behave like predators. They thoroughly chew their victim and then bring it to their nest, where they feed it to the younger generation. Overall, hornets can be viewed as beneficial insects that destroy crop pests. However, their love of sweets is the reason for their massive attacks on beehives at the end of the honey harvesting period. The video shows how a small group of hornets almost completely destroys the hive to gain access to honey and delicious larvae. Hornets have very thick armor, which can't be penetrated by the honeybee's stings. Therefore, humans are responsible for the task of protecting the beehives from the hornets' attacks. They do it by setting up traps with sweetened bait. But the Japanese subspecies of the Indian bee has developed its own control mechanism. The scientists have found a special group of neurons in the main nerve center of these insects that makes them form a ball around the invading hornets and roast the attackers. Special chains of nerve cells are located away from the neurons responsible for collecting nectar, stinging attacks, and other typical attacks. That is, they are specialized precisely in protecting against hornets. When a group of bees detects an attack, they surround the intruder and begin vibrating their wing muscles. Thus, a heat ball is formed, which generates temperatures of around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. However, the bees can only defeat single scouts this way, since they need to maintain a high temperature for about 20 to 60 minutes in order to kill the hornet. The lion has long been recognized as the king of animals. This formidable predator can keep all animals in the area at bay. However, there are heroes in the animal world capable of challenging the lion. Lions and buffaloes are true enemies. The predators usually prey on weak individuals, calves and females, but adult buffaloes can also become their prey once in a while. However, Buffaloes don't remain in debt for long. They often attack the lion prides and prevent the big cats from getting food. The buffaloes also use every opportunity to trample little lion cubs. The buffaloes can put up a decent fight against the lions. The thing is that these animals are rather large in size. They can reach a height of up to 1.8 meters and they weigh about one ton. Moreover, they have horns, which is a powerful weapon for attacking the enemy. And you shouldn't forget that these are herd animals. No pride can handle a herd of angry buffaloes rushing towards it. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about today's episode in the comments. Like the video, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.